Hi everyone, today I'm going to be doing a really chilled out video. I just want to have a little chat with you guys and I just want to sit down and chat about anything and everything really. There is a point to this video though, I'm going to be talking about um, what your love language is and this is something that I've kind of wanted to talk about for quite a long time. Um, it has gone around on YouTube like Good Mythical Morning have done it, Buzzfeed has done it, but if you guys haven't heard of what your love language is then let's get started and see what happens. So I did the love language quiz probably a couple of months ago. Basically the love, what the love language is is your love language. Everyone has their own love language and it isn't just about relationships it can be about friendships as well depending if you have a close friendship or a kind of um a friendship that's kind of just you just met somebody anyone has their own love language and from my point of view i haven't gone into a lot of research of this but basically there is this guy called gary chapman he did this book called five love languages and there is a quiz that you can do to find your love language which i think is really cool and stuff like this is something I never, I'd never say no to because I'm, all, I'm always interested in what I can do to help somebody else. And basically your love language is, everyone has a different love language. So basically, let me, let's break it down. Let's break it down. The different ways that you can show love are words of affirmation, acts of service, receiving gifts, quality time and physical touch. So these are five different love languages, which is basically what the book is about, and it's telling you which one you are going to be most wanting from another part, from a partner or a friend. This is mainly to do with relationships, but I guess this could be to do with friendships as well, because you can have physical touch from a friendship. You can hug and stuff like that. So give high fives. <laughs> I don't know if that's physical touch or not. <laughs> but yes, this is actually apparently really, really popular as well. It's got like over six thousand reviews on it. I have never read the book but I've always been interested in what the love language is because I saw a video on Facebook um, ages ago and it's this guy on this talk show and he was talking about what your love language is and he was saying that when you're in a couple he was showing his love to his partner and basically telling her how much he loves her and he thought that this was going to be a good way of showing how much he loves her. Basically what happened was she wasn't happy with that and he was saying how beautiful she was and saying how much he loved her and saying all this nice stuff about her but because her love language was totally different to his that didn't work for her. In a way you could show love to somebody and also like this isn't saying that just because you say someone's beautiful they're not going to accept it which is so stupid but basically this is kind of making this is kind of showing your preference so if you kind of want to if you're having a relationship kind of like if you're not go, doing very well in your relationship at the moment um, this is a good thing to do both you and your partner can do this and this is coming from someone who is completely single so just putting that out there but I'm single so I'm not in a relationship but I know that this stuff is good and I know that if I get into a relationship that this is something that me and my partner could do and I think it'd be quite fun and if not then don't but this is something that can actually really help you for me because I'm quite spiritual I'm quite in touch with all the things I would like to give and what I would like to get, receive so for me when I did my love language quiz I will show you what I got you basically get an email and it shows you all the results that you get it also shows the results at the end of the quiz but you can also get it emailed to you so you have it on you which I think is a really good idea okay so <laughs> annoyingly I've actually lost the email that I was sent from my results so I might have to do the quiz again just to show you guys the highest one for me was physical touch I think because for me I really like giving hugs and I love receiving hugs and I love cuddling anything kind of physical is like up there for me and as I say this doesn't have to be to a partner this can be to a friend like I love giving my friends hugs if they don't want to hug that's fine I won't like reject them or anything but it just makes me so happy so I can't remember what the next one is so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to do the, the quiz I'm not gonna go through the whole thing because it's quite long but I'm basically just gonna give you an example of the things you can do and then this is the quiz here this is the website that you can go on I'm gonna show you the link down below link it down below so you guys can get it but this is the um, love language thing and it just shows you what it's about and it tells you all the things different love languages and then you can click this to start the quiz you can do for myself or my child so i'm going to do myself are you in a relationship or single single i don't actually know what the difference is if they actually give you different questions or not that's actually really cool it says click here to take the love language profile for teenagers so you guys if you're under if you're between 13 and 17 then do that um it says this profile is for ages 18 and older so that's cool, I really like that. It said the five love languages, 
profile will give you a thorough analysis of your emotional communication preference. It will single out a primary love language, what it means and how you can use it to connect and deepen your relationship with others. So as I say, it doesn't tell you that it's for a relationship, but I think it does help. So basically what you have to do is type in your name, type in your email. Let me give you an example of some of the questions. Um, it, gives, it gives you a question, then it gives you two options, and then you can decide which option you think is more kind of for you. Right, this first question is, it's more meaningful to me when, one, someone I love sends me a loving note slash text slash email for no reason. Number two, I hug someone I love. So for me, that'll be a hug because I love hugging people and it's great. And also it tells you how much percentage you are along of the quiz so you can know how long you've got until you finish. Another one is, it's more meaningful to me when one, I can spend alone time with someone I love, just us. Number two, someone I love does something practical to help me out. For me, I don't really mind because I'm quite an independent person. I like doing stuff for myself, but it's only because that's what I'm used to doing. So it's more, more meaningful to me when someone I love gives me a little gift as a token of our love, of concern for each other. Two, I get to spend uninterrupted leisure time with those I love. So a lot of these are can do with like your quality time slash compared to gifts. So for me, I like um, quality time because it is something that you can't bottle up and give to somebody if that makes sense but with a gift you can give to somebody and let me just like let me just disclaimer I love gifts <laughs> I love gifts so it's not saying that I won't love gifts but you know so I'm gonna do this quiz now because I want to show you guys what my results are and then you guys can have an idea of what your your results will be so be right back okay so here we go this is the um, results it tells you the numbers from like however much to the lowest so the highest one would be the one that you mainly want out of something out of somebody's relationship and the next one would be like the second my one is obviously physical touch as i said <laughs> because i love hugs and everything like that quality time is the next is the second one words of affirmation is number three acts of service is number four and receiving gifts is number five so as i say like so everyone has a different love language and i feel like if it isn't compatible with yours it doesn't mean that you're going to be incompatible let me just say that right now <laughs> the first one is physical touch is like my main one um very touchy hugs pats on the back touches on the arm stuff like that that's what i really like and then the next one is quality time so as i say it's like you can't bottle up and give to somebody and i think at the same time everybody is kind of living in their own life in their own bubble like in their own world so they're not really bothered normally about somebody else and if they put they take their time out of their like world to give to you then i feel like that's something really special and that sounds really like cheesy but it's very true because everyone's like a lot of people are selfish these days and i think at the end of the day if someone is willing to give you that time then that actually means a lot and to me that means a lot so yeah i really hope you enjoyed that video i don't really know what else to say about this really i really hope you enjoyed this video and as i say the quiz gets emailed to you if ow ow my foot ow <laughs> i just bashed my foot on my table if you want to do this quiz yourself then you can do that and i feel like if you are having problems in your relationship then and even if you're not like if you're having the best relationship of your life i think it's still fun to do this because you can tell your partner what is what you like and what they like and i think if you do it accurately and you do it kind of like you take your time to do the quiz i think it actually can be quite beneficial but yeah thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to the button is down there feel free to click the bell to get notified when i upload a video so you guys can see when i upload and you guys can watch it and um, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna end it here because I'm babbling. I'm just babbling on. Right, bye, <laughs> bye. <laughs>